And welcome back to Who Would Win. This time it's Sundays. And Corey Jackson, longtime viewer and suggester. It's been a while. Because I get more and more people who actually subscribe and suggest stuff, I, um, it's hard for me to it, – I, 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 it takes longer for me to actually get to the original um, – or just longer to people. So he's – you give me a lot of suggestions, Corey. It just – and I have them all written down. It's just it takes a while to get to you now that i got so many people. I want to be fair. That's why I just go in a rotational order. Just like, okay, this turn, this turn, this turn, this turn, and we're back again. Anyway, you asked the question, who would win? The Horn King from um, Black Cauldron versus the Lich King from Adventure Time. Now, the Horn King – there's not much to really say on the Horn King, unfortunately. It, it's known that he is probably a sorcerer of some level, but doesn't really. We don't really know what he can do besides teleporting and looking into a cauldron. Um, it, it is known he had a lot of great physical strength, uh, as he was capable, uh, as he showed against Terran after you know they foiled the plan. Uh, and that's about it with the Horn King. Um, if if we're going to be fair, we'll give him like a couple like uh, minor sorcery abilities. Um, again, like, uh, I, we know he can teleport. Uh, we'll give him, like, maybe a minor energy shield, kind of minor healing capability, and, uh, basic energy blast, kind of a sky magic ability. The Lich King is the main villain in Adventure Time. Now, aside from his immortality, and I'm reading this verbatim, the Lich King has a medley of unholy powers, and most commonly uses the ability to summon green flame-like energy from his hands and fire it at his opponents. Also, while possessing Princess Bubblegum, he demonstrated pyrokinesis, where he sets a room on fire with his mind. I'm going to guess he also has that ability when he's not possessing people. The Lich also seems to exude an aura of death and rot around him. Whether, th whether this is done consciously is unknown, but living creatures and objects have been seen to rot and die as they come in contact with him or general presence. This is shown when trees die as the Lich passes through a forest. When he crossed the iceberg lake, fish died on his path. In addition, the Lich can breathe a black life-sucking gas, which he used to kill Prismo and set the Citadel on fire. In uh, addition to his deadly magic, he wielded his power to control people's minds, either through telep telepathy or spoken commands. He also has a notable spoken ability to say the word stop, or he takes his victims to another night-like plane in which he has full control over everything. The Lich influence was so great that it posed a threat to everyone nearby, or anyone nearby, even while he was still trapped in the Candy Castle. Moreover, he has the ability to possess other people, as seen when he possesses Princess Bubblegum. The Lich has also the ability to utilize necromancy, as seen when he controls the corpse of his, corpses in his lair to attack Finn and Jake. He also possesses great physical abilities, as he, has the, as he was able to quickly dodge Finn's energy attack with Billy's gauntlet. Later, he easily caught Finn's bare punch, handed, and shared the gauntlet to pieces. In addition, the Lich is also very mobile and possesses the ability to fly. The Lich uh, sustains his massive strength by drinking from the Well of Power, a noxious magical pool of glowing green liquid located in the depths of his lair. After he has possessed Prince Bogum, he substituted the contents of his original well with a mixture of toxic chemicals such as gasoline, lighter fluid, bleach, plutonium, that he, uh, that he appearing as a princess or Finn to retrieve. While his power is truly a force of reckonment, the Lich has a few known vulnerabilities. His main weakness is the Gauntlet of Heroes, which we don't have in this fight, so we're just going to ignore it. A magical weapon is previously owned by Billy and fires intense ma an intense energy blasts. This weakness is known to moot now is is now moot as the Lich destroyed the Gauntlet with ease when he grabbed Finn's arm, and caused the Gauntlet to disintegrate. Okay, another item able to work against the Lich is the sweater Princess Bubblegum gave to Finn. Again, not going to factor in this fight. Imbued with the power of liking someone a lot, aka love, the sweater protects Finn from the Lich's flames and was later used as a weapon. With it, Finn is able to attack the Lich. Okay, uh, the Lich is also unable to control Princess Zion if he or she is wearing a certain type of magical jewelry, which is generally in purpose to physical attacks. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of stuff stuff the Lich is weak to, but it's all particular stuff. Um, he's just the, he's got single minded gold to destroy life. That's pretty much it. Um, uh, uh, the Rich is either tech turnum and speaks only in brief statements. Okay. Anywho, so um, now to be fair, the Horn King seems like a kind of a Lich himself to some degree, so I'm guessing the Rod effect would not work on him, given the fact that we've allowed. Um, that we're allowing the Horn King a couple extra abilities in this fight. How does this really break down? Well, from a physical standpoint, I'll say they're on par. Because we really don't know how strong they are compared to each other. 
Now, I don't think the Lich is necessarily, or the Horn King is necessarily capable of shattering a gauntlet that he's actually specifically weak against with his bare hand. But I would say that given his size and power, he, he's strong enough to at least deal out a, a decent amount of, uh, a, an okay punch. Like, he could actually theoretically hurt the Lich, let's say. So when their powers, when their powers combine, they would be a force to be reckoned. I doubt it. Um, uh, really, it really, it's gonna come. Uh, the list is probably gonna start off with like fire, fire blasts and like that. Since we're giving our um, Horn King a bit of an air, a couple extra abilities like healing. Um, uh, he well, the problem we won't go healing because that's not quite fair. Healing, he might have necromantic powers though. That that would probably make sense. Uh, healing, and so, yeah, they'll use necromancy each, at each other, their arms will fight, and they'll duke it out. Fire, his energy shield, he'll fire an energy blast, let you avoid that, but th there'll be a lot of back and forth. The, the real, uh, the, uh, the real thing here is twofold. One, could the, could the Lich King possess the Horn King? Like, and... I'm going to say no, simply because of the fact it's not the same time. It's a very different character than what I think he's used to. Um, so I, I I don't, I can't say, I won't say that um, he could possess someone either of the undead, per se, or someone of theoretical similar constitution to him. They're both technically liches. But the real factor in this fight is ultimately this. And this is not one of those scenario fights I'm doing. This is more, I'm just going to explain how this fight kind of ends. Is that one of these guys isn't immortal. As far as I know, the Horn King's not immortal. One of these guys is. And the Horn King, I mean, it, it, he, Horn King can, like, with teleportation, could avoid the Lich King for a certain amount of time. And with the extra abilities we've given him, could maybe hurt him a little bit. But the Lich King is immortal, and the Horn King doesn't have anything specific that actually hurts the Lich King. So in in this fight, I have to go with the Lich King. The, 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 that's just the way I see it. Is that the Lich King has enough variety in mortality, and the Horn King doesn't have anything that can actually really truly hurt the Lich King, that I have to go with the, uh, the Lich King pretty much 100% of the time. Unless you, unless you can think of any legitimate way that the Horn king can actually beat him let me know um i'd be interested to hear how the horn king could actually beat him uh but hey if again if you think different let me know but yeah i'm going the lich king 100 percent time in this scenario uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed like comment share and subscribe as always we want to review something put in the comments below let us know we'll do a review of it at some point if you have an idea for who win star wars superhero magic what if anything i do in the channel put that in the comments below as well i'll get to it at some point um i'll be back tomorrow with the still more who wins i got three more days worth um and uh what do i have anything else planned? oh what if will be up later tonight uh we'll see about the movie maybe i'll take a page and uh from my previous book and kind of skip the movie because i just don't care about i just don't care about winchester at all i really don't i can't remember the last time i did not give two craps about a movie like this um I need to check if the if the uh, death battle will be up this week, or if we're gonna go. If we, no, I think it's we've got one more week before the death battle. No, yeah, we have one more week, and then their death battle comes back on Wednesday of the following week, and then I'll be doing the death battle predictions. But um, no, maybe a magic video will pop. Everyone will rear its head this week. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next.